I'm Nathan Ness. I'm from the Cloud Native Applications Business Unit, and today we're going to talk about the different networking options within Docker. So the first one would be the default Docker bridge. With the default Docker bridge, you have some type of container host. This container host is going to have an Ethernet adapter. And then it's going to go into the IP tables of the Linux kernel, which is also going to perform a NAT function. After that, we're going to draw the default Docker bridge. This is usually called Docker Zero. Within the Docker Zero, we can hang uh, containers off of that, provision containers, container one, container two. So anytime these containers are going to talk outbound or external to the host, uh, they're going to be natted at the IP tables level and have a source address of whatever IP address is at the container host. And so inbound connectivity is going to require uh, a DNAT rule when you start the Docker container. Uh, it's going to require that you expose port 80 or map a port on the host side to the port on the container side. And this can be uh, any arbitrary port to uh, a specific port on the container one. And so maybe I might have 8080 map to 80 on the back end. So this would be the uh, host port, and then it's going to go back to port 80 on container one. But just know that the default behavior of Docker is going to be uh, NAT outbound and inbound communication. So this is going to actually perform uh, both DNAT and uh, SNAT <clears throat> for outbound and inbound communication. Container to container communication, so container one talking to container two, uh, this would happen over the Docker zero bridge. And that uh, communication will be inherently allowed. Okay. The next option that we have is user-specific uh, bridges, or what are called user-defined bridges. So this is a very similar model to the default Docker bridge. So we have our Docker container host with ETH0. Again, we're going to have uh, IP tables in here. also performing NAT. And below this, we're going to actually be able to make user-defined uh, bridges. So this could be BRNet2. Over here, we could put BRNet1. And then we can have containers hanging off of each of these different bridges. And you would do this with the dash dash net command when you start the Docker container. So what this allows you to do is have some isolation between containers. So by default, these two containers cannot talk to each other. And then the same inbound uh, and outbound behavior remains the same. It's still going to use uh, IP tables to NAT outbound. And it's also going to use the DNAT rules to map uh, inbound as well. So you're still going to require that if you're going to go host to host to container to container across your uh, Docker host um, environment. And so really, this is really meant for the isolation of containers on the same host uh, to provide some type of segmentation between them. <clears throat> the next method of this is to use uh, overlay networking. And this, become, this has become default in Docker as well, which is included. And so when we have an overlay network, what happens here is this time I'm going to draw two hosts. Uh, with the ETH0, and then we'll also draw our uh, IP tables. And our bridge. OK, and I'll hang a container off of that. And we'll draw one more host. So again, we'll draw Ethernet0. Uh, that's going to go down to IP tables. Docker 0. 
And we'll draw one container off of there, container two. This time though, we're gonna add in what's called an overlay network. And an overlay network is used for encapsulation uh, across your physical network. And this allows uh, typically VMs or containers or whichever you're hooking into this to be on the same layer two segment, uh, which is exactly what this is going to do. So here we have our containers connected to our overlay. And this allows container to container communication over a multi-host network without using uh, network address translation. So any t container to container communication uh, we'll be able to use the overlay and instead of being natted across and managing uh, complexity of port numbers, they can actually use the overlay and just communicate over layer two. And so here's really your three options for using Docker networking uh, with the, the default Docker implementation.